like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 21 is asking us to simplify a rational expression where the numerator and the denominator are both complex. So a complex number is written in this form right here, a plus bi. Uh, and just so you know, i is referring to the imaginary number, which is the square root of negative 1. So since we don't have like a unique way of writing this, we just write it as i uh, instead of writing it as root negative 1. But that's what i means. So in order to simplify a rational expression where both the numerator and the denominator are both complex numbers, and when I say complex, I mean they're a combination of a real part and an imaginary part. So they're written in this form a plus bi where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. Um, what is the value of a? So uh, really what we need to do is we just need to divide this out. Now to simplify this, we're going to simplify it kind of in the same way that we would simplify um, a, a rational expression with irrational numbers in the denominator. In other words, like if we have something like 2 plus the square root of 3, and I'm just kind of giving you this as an example of something you may have seen before, divided by, I don't know, 1 minus root 5, we can simplify this by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. So in other words, we want to multiply both the numerator and the denominator here by 2, I'm sorry, 1 plus root 5. So when I say conjugate, what I'm talking about there is the conjugate of a plus b would be a minus b. And the reason why it's useful to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this expression is that when I foil out or I distribute the denominator here, so if I like, you know, start to multiply this out, I have two factors which essentially are the two factors you get when you factor a difference of two squares. And I just want to show you, I'm not going to work this whole thing out here, but I just want to show you what's happening with the denominator. I'll just write numerator. <laughs> uh, that, that will multiply out. but. Uh, for the denominator, you get 1 times 1, which is 1, and then 1 times root 5, which is root 5. So 1 plus root 5, and then 1 times negative root 5 would be negative root 5, and then negative root 5 times root 5, which would be negative 5. So what ends up happening here, and this is kind of the point I'm trying to get at, is that these two terms, if you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, will cancel out and leave you with a real number, a, um, not only real, but a rational number. And that's what you want, because basically we need this denominator to be something that we can divide both of these terms by so that we can write it like this. So let's actually get to the question at hand here. It's enough. Uh, <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll make one little note that the conjugate of a plus bi is a minus bi. And so that's really the trick that we're going to use, is we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of that denominator. So 3 plus 4i divided by 2 plus i. To start to simplify this, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 minus i. All right, now I'm allowed to multiply really by anything I want as long as it's a form of 1, um, and anything divided by itself should be 1. So this is a safe multiplication, and I won't change the value of my number. And so uh, to multiply this, I think I'm going to put both the numerator and the denominator here in parentheses just to make this uh, a little, oh, what happened there? Let's get rid of these parentheses. Um, just to make it a little easier to look at, so you can see what exactly we're going to be multiplying together. All right, so out to the side here, I'm going to start with the numerator. So I've got 3 plus 4i times 2 minus i. Now when I foil that together, I want to 
multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 2. I'm going to multiply 3 times negative 1, 4i times 2, and 4i times negative i. I think I might have said negative 1. I meant negative i. So let's go ahead and multiply each of those out. 3 times 2 would be 6. Um, 3 times negative i would be minus 3i. 4i times 2 would be plus 8i. And then 4i times negative i would be negative 4i squared. Now I'll come back to that i squared in just a second. But we've got all, all of this uh, multiplied out now. And so to simplify this, we've got two things we need to do. Number one is we can combine these like terms. So negative 3i plus 8i. The other thing that we can do is we can simplify the i squared. If i is root negative 1, like we wrote originally, then i squared is going to be simply negative 1. So when I have this i squared here, really that's just negative 1. So to simplify this, I'm going to combine my like terms. Negative 3i plus 8i is going to be plus 5i. i squared is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 would be positive 4. So now I have 6 plus 5i plus 4. Okay. And then since my imaginary number kind of went away there uh, when I squared it, I can now combine that with the real part and get 6 plus 4, which is 10. So all this work to really just say that the numerator, once I multiply these out together, is 10 plus 5i. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here and say this equals 10 plus 5i divided by, and now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the numerator, but with the denominator. So we're going to multiply this out, but we're hoping that, you know, if we did this correctly, I should not end up with any i's in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply 2 plus i times 2 minus i. Same idea here where we're going to multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second. So like 2 times 2 is going to be 4. 2 times negative i will be negative 2i plus 2i minus i squared. So like I said, 2 times 2 would be 4. We have minus 2i plus 2i, which is what we are kind of hoping is going to happen because this 2i minus 2i is just going to cancel out and give you zero. Um, so yeah, so these two terms sort of kill each other off here. And uh, we're left with 4 minus i squared. And like we said before, i squared is negative 1. So we have 4 minus negative 1 or just 4 plus 1, and it would equal 5. So my denominator over here is just going to simplify to be 5. And now once I've rewritten this so that the denominator is a rational number, I can go ahead and just divide both of these terms by that number. So 10 divided by 5 would be 2, and then 5i divided by 5 would just be i. So this is the exact same number as the one over here. It's just a simplified form of it. So like our original expression is equal to this expression. And it's saying if you write it in this simplified form, what's the value of a, which is the real part? And we can see that it's 2. And that's it for 21. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.